little more. Okay, now we're on. The Tree of Transformation. <sighs> in Civic Center Park. Not something just to look at. Something to play with and engage with. This big steel structure over here is the root system. It actually acts as a base for the whole sculpture because it's 20 feet high. And then the antique piano has a steel spine that slots over the root. This is the spine, so there's a piece of steel, big chunk of steel that's bolted into the piano. And then there's a sleeve that goes up into that. And so we had to run power wires through it, drop it down, and make sure everything fits. And then we have the twisting steel pipe trunk, and then that branches out to all of the, the branches, and then at the end of each branch are the steel pans. The Conservancy focuses 100% of our energy on Civic Center Park, and um, we've talked for a long time about using temporary art to be an attractor into the park and get people to spend some time here. This is our first project of that nature, and um, you know, so really it's about um, taking advantage of when the park is a little less programmed. We can put a big piece of art in the middle of it, uh, but also it's really about the opportunity to bring people in and get them to interact with not only the piece of art, but with the park as a whole. One of our goals out of this initial installation is that the creative community and the artistic community is going to look at Civic Center through a different lens and be like, how can they work with the Conservancy and work with the city on uh, bringing their work into Civic Center and, and really add that enhancement and give people another reason to come into the park. We built it originally in 2015 in about three months as a honorarium grant from Burning Man. It went to burn, and um, since then we've kind of been looking for a permanent home for it. This one has a full-size antique piano that uh, is connected through electronics and solenoids to 99 notes on a set of nine um, steel pans, so kind of like the Caribbean sounding uh, music. Three out of our five <laughs> public art pieces we've done have been musical so far. I think yeah. we, I, I think the the fact that we really like the interactive electromechanical aspect. I mean, musical pieces lend themselves to it quite, quite well. I do the technology and mechanical and software aspects, and Nick is structural. Yep. And it's actually been like a year and a half process since we first started talking about it to, to now.